Alright guys, welcome back to Turbo Tyler. And finally, we've got another turbo car on the channel. So, this is my um, latest purchase. For those who don't know, this is a Mark II uh, Ford Focus ST, or an ST225. Um, and it's the cheapest one in New Zealand. And it's already broken. Let me talk you through it. So these Ford Focus STs come with a two and a half litre five cylinder Volvo engine from factory, which is one of the reasons and the main reason why I've always wanted one. These are super popular in the UK and not popular at all in New Zealand. These are super rare. Nobody really has, well, nobody has any parts for these and nobody really knows how to work on them, but I bought it anyway. Um, and this was the cheapest one for sale. Um, and it was definitely cheap for a reason. So let's talk through some of the issues that it's got and we'll start under the hood if I can even open it because the central locking doesn't really work. So here it is, that mighty two and a half litre Volvo lump. But right now, it's not really looking all that mighty. Um, so this car, I bought it with a few issues going into it and I knew that. So the main issue that we've got at the minute is the PCV hose, which you can see sort of the remnants of right there, which runs from the oil filter housing up to the top of the crankcase, that is broken. So I'm not driving the car at the minute because that's completely broken. Also, if we go ahead and look at the top of the rocker cover, can you see there is just a load of oil and just crap everywhere. I mean, this thing is covered in oil. All down there is covered in oil. The underside was covered in oil. I've cleaned it up so it doesn't go on the driveway. Um, but yeah, so it's definitely leaking oil. We've got a PCV hose that's gone. Under here is my timing cover. I can show you, if, uh, sorry, under this timing cover is my cam belt. I'll show you a photo of that now. That shot, that needs doing. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of work that needs doing under here. On top of that, so people don't know, they have a very common problem where the cylinder line is crack. So from factory, there's too much flex in the cylinder liners and over time with heat cycles and just abuse, they tend to crack. So that's another thing that I need to resolve by doing uh, to fix that. You do a block mod, you put shims in between them and that's a cylinder head removal job. Um, you know, I've never done anything that big, but we're gonna go ahead and attempt it because we've got no choice. Can't just leave it and nobody wants to work on these cars here. I'm on my own on this one. So that engine wise, I think is about it. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the car then. So the camera might be doing this car a bit of a favor here. You might not be able to tell how rough this car really is. Um, it's in the launch color, I believe, which is this orange. I don't know what the actual paint color of it is called. Um, but I definitely wanted one of these in orange. I think it looks so cool. This car is an actual Focus ST. Um, in New Zealand, you have either a Focus ST like this, or they call it a Ford Focus XR5 Turbo, and those are uh, like post facelift. And I think you can get this shape, but they're all five doors, and I definitely didn't want a five door, I definitely want a three door. Um, and this one's completely stock, apart from these OZ wheels, which are curbed and they're all fucked and need refurbishing. So that's something that I've got to do, um, which is going to be a pain because they're all this um, really small folk stuff. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk you through some of the stuff. I'll do some close-ups. Spoiler, lacquer is completely gone. Roof, the lacquer is actually gone. There is no lacquer on the roof. Um, then we've got lacquer peel on the boot here. Um, standard exhaust that needs sorting out. Lacquer peeling on the door, the window tint is scratched away. Um, a lot of lacquer damage. And let's walk you through some stuff on the other side. So as we get around to this side, it's more of the same, just curved wheels and lacquer damage like that. So we've got lacquer damage there. Also, something else I've got to sort out on this driver's side is this huge dent, which the seller described as a small dent. Um, I don't know, I don't, I don't look pretty small to me. That looks like a huge fuck up. So that's gonna be another DIY repair because I'm not paying what it's gonna to cost to get that done. Um, in New Zealand, another thing um, about these kind of project cars is labor is extremely expensive. Like in the UK, if I wanted to wrap this roof, it'd probably be about 100 pound. Like it wouldn't be that expensive, like 100, 100 pounds, something like that. Over here, I got quoted $500 just to wrap this roof. Um, so we're even gonna give it a go wrapping it ourselves, or I'm just gonna spray paint that. Like this is gonna be the project focus. So it's gonna need a lot of work. 
and I've got the other cars to maintain as well. So it's going to get as much love as I can afford to give it. Interior wise is where this car actually shines. So it isn't all negatives, there is actually some positives. The interior on this car is extremely good condition and the reason it's good condition is the other positive of this car. It's low mileage. So for the last three years, it's been off the road and it's only on 119,000 kilometers, which is about 73,000 miles. That might not seem like low mileage to some people, but for me, that's the lowest mileage car I've ever had by a long shot. And it's about half the miles that are on my Integra. So to me, this is a pretty low mileage car. Um, so the seats, we've got Recaro bucket seats. Um, photos really don't do these, these seats justice. The bolsters don't look that um, supportive, but they are actually quite supportive. And they're super comfortable seats, much more comfortable than what are in my Integra. Um, but other than that, everything in the interior is standard. Under here, we've got a, um, a radar scanner. We've got a dash cam, both those wide in. A uh, touchscreen Bluetooth radio with a reversing camera. Um, but other than that, it's all standard in here. These come standard with the oil temp boost and oil pressure gauges, which are super cool options. Um, not options, sorry, factory. Um, but yeah, it's just stock standard Mark II Focus ST in here. So some of the other things that it needs that I haven't mentioned, wheel bearing one of them is gone i've had it jacked up and shaken all the wheels and they all feel fine but you can hear it one of them is definitely gone the wheel bearings brakes i'm pretty sure the discs are warped um tires are okay but uh yeah so we've got a full cam belt kit that needs doing engine oil leak that needs sorting uh pcv hose replacement block mod kit needs installing multiple sections of lacquer peel on the bodywork along with a huge dent roof needs wrapping um and that's before we've even gotten to modifications, which are definitely being done. These five cylinders sound insane. If you've never heard one, it, I don't know, I just love them. I think they're super nice, so. We need exhaust, intake, intercooler, tune, um, along with a load of other goodies, hopefully along down the line. Wheels need to be refurbed, brake needs to be repainted, but there's a lot to do. So if you're interested in one of these Mark II Focus STs, make sure you guys stay tuned to the project. Um, we're going to be going ahead and starting to work on it today. I'm going to be filming another video. Side skirts need to be re glued because they're about to fall off, and these cars are so hard to find, I'll never be able to get replacements for them. So, yeah, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next video.